Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you accordion collapsible content. Accordion collapsible content allow you to have essentially collapsible content on top of each other, or they can be placed anywhere you want. And if you open one, it collapses any other ones that are open within the accordion group. And if you open another, it does the same. And it's really, really cool, and it really does look amazing, especially if you're creating some sort of website that has a lot of information maybe a lot of forms and you only want to display the information that the user needs at that particular time so to do this you need a div and the first div is going to be a container for all of the different sections this needs a class of accordion this needs a role its role is tab list needs area dash multi selectable that looks a okay the spelling does put that to true inside here we have panels and each panel is the button itself that activates that particular collapsible content and the collapsible content as well so it's going to do a div we've covered panels before so check that video out if you want more information probably class of panel panel dash default then inside here I'm gonna have another div and this div has a class of panel dash heading row equals tab ID equals I'm gonna put heading one and then inside here, we're simply going to have a H4. And for this, this needs a class of panel dash title. Technically, you could use something else other than panels. You don't have to have it quite the same way that we're doing it, but it just looks really simple and really cool using panels. And inside here, we're going to have an A data dash toggle equals oopsie daisy equals collapse data dash parent equals actually sorry this needs to be an ID not a class and my bad and I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna capitalize it so we're just gonna copy and paste that that goes in the data parent attribute then we need a href and this href is simply going to be collapse one or whatever the collapsible content is called we haven't programmed that in yet we'll do that in a moment now we need area dash expanded I'm gonna set this to true that just means this particular content is open by default you can set it to false if you don't want it open by default really easy to change area dash controls equals collapse one again you want it the same as the href and now inside here it's gonna have some text it's gonna put collapsible group item one outside of the h4 and the panel heading div but still within the panel you want to add another div and this div has an id which is the same as this right here it has a class of panel dash collapse collapse in you only want this in for the collapsible item that's open by default so if you don't want it open by default which we'll show you in a moment by having multiple sections you want to omit this little class right here but like i said we'll be showing that soon you want to put a row of tab panel and you want to do area dash labeled by equals for this we're going to put heading one which is right here 
and then inside we're just going to put something you can put images you can put text let's go and put a random paragraph which i'm going to get from a random paragraph generator copy and paste that before we add more panels we're simply going to show you this working as it is so refresh we got a collapsible item it's open by default because remember i have i had the class and the area dash what was it called uh, it slipped my mind area dash expanded set to true so if i click this as you can see it now closes and opens very similar to regular collapsible content but here comes the accordion part so let's just simply copy and paste this because we only need to change a few things so we want to change the id i'm going to put this to heading two you want you need a class for the ahref collapsed so if it's collapsed by default you want to change this to collapsed it's going to change the ahref because we don't want to be to trigger the first one area dash expanded is equal to false area dash controls is collapse two change this to group item two change this to collapse two got to get rid of this in change this to collapse two and now we are going to just get another random paragraph just so it looks different copy that paste and now what we're going to do is just create one more you can have as many as you want you can just have one two we're just going to have three because they it looks quite cool when there's three of them let's go down and see what we need really we only need to change the heading dash three or the heading two and the collapse two to three simply because we've done all the other changes change this to three three free and free so let's simply get another paragraph copy and paste that go back to our web browser refresh as you can see we got two more group item buttons they are collapsed by default if I click on this one still open and close it but if this is open and I click number three for example okay that didn't quite work because it's not closing the other content so let's have a look what we've missed clearly i know what i missed right here i'll put data dash parent accordion it needs a hash because it doesn't know i'm referencing an id so if i just put a hash in all the data parents that was a little mistake on my part so if you picked up on that great if you didn't just add a quick hash save it refresh so if i click on group item 3 as you can see the other one closes and i can't have more than one open at any given time you might be wondering what happens if let's say they're all closed so if i close this one and i click open on another one it doesn't open any of the others or close any of the others because they're already closed bootstrap handles all of that for you and it just opens and closes the one that you need so that's accordion collapsible content really really cool really useful if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description plus there'll be another link to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help let us know what you like and what you don't like about our videos and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day